Welcome everyone to another episode of Flipped My Classroom. So tonight you're going to be learning about the Capture Recapture Lab. First, let me show you the lab itself. We're going to start with my website. So bear with me just a second. Um, as you know, you can get to my website uh, from Google Sites and if you look here on the site under Lab Out Loud, you'll see the Capture Recapture Lab. Click on Period 2 for Period 2, Period 7 for Period 7. This will load up a copy of the lab that you have the ability to view but not edit. So the first thing you have to do is one person in your group will have to make a copy of this lab. So you go up to File make a copy. Once you've made a copy you need to share it with everybody in your group and with me. And this will be the lab that you'll be completing to turn in by the due date. Now if you follow along with me you'll see that what we are using is a capture recapture method to determine a population size. And the way that we, the way that we do this is that we will be going out and tagging uh, some members of a population. We'll be using the Pepperidge Farms goldfish and a brown paper bag. The brown paper lunch bag will be our mangrove swamp. And in that bag you will have an unknown population size of these fish. The first thing you do is you remove 25 fish from the bag. Being careful not to crush the fish or the fish that are in the bags. Please do not shake up the bag. You'll pull these fish out and then you will mark them. Now by marking them, you'll just simply replace them with another type of goldfish. There's another flavor. Um, then you'll be using this data table here to collect your data. Basically, you will randomly remove 15 members of that population. And then right here, you will record how many are marked. You put those 15 back into the bag, shake it up lightly, pull another 15 out, record how many were marked here. Put them back in the bag, shake it up again, remove another 15 randomly, mark how many are tagged here. You will do this for a total of 10 times. Then you will fill in data table 2. You'll write down the number of individuals marked in the initial capture. That would be 25. You'll pull out the total number collected, so you pulled out 15 10 times, that would be 150. The total number marked that were recaptured, that would be the sum of these columns. And from that, you can come up with an estimated population size. Now this will involve a little bit of math, and the way you do that is using this, pop this information right up here. So read these steps and you will be able to figure that out. I'm not going to go through that right now. Um, I will eventually tell you your actual population size and from that, well actually I will not tell you this, when you are done you will count all the fish in the bag to get the actual population size which then you can determine the percent error to see how close you were to the actual population size. And that is right here, that equation. And then there are a few questions as a group that you have to answer together. So it is that simple. Uh, if you have any questions, we'll talk real briefly before the lab starts tomorrow. All right, thanks.